Preservation IVF is undergoing IVF um, for the purposes of freezing your embryos as a way to delay parenthood. It's a way to have children later in life um, without taking on those risks associated with getting older, like infertility or genetic abnormality rates or high miscarriage rates. Um, that's likely to happen. You know, once you pass age 35, you're more likely to run into those issues. So if you freeze your embryos when you're young and healthy and fertile, you'll have them waiting for you when you're ready to be a parent. I invented that term because you're pres preserving your fertility and um, I contrast it with what I call um, desperation IVF, which has been a controversial term to use. Desperation IVF is what I refer to when you're out of options and you're turning to IVF because you want to have a baby and you can't naturally. Um, and this is what so many couples are finding, you know, in their mid to late 30s or early 40s that they're running into this issue and I use that term to really describe to people as, as if they wait, this is what's out there and it's, it's really a terrible process to go through emotionally and physically when you're trying to have a baby and you can't. So it's, you know, preserve your fertility now with preservation IVF or wait and take the huge chance that you're going to end up in desperation IVF and it's really out of respect for people going through IVF. It's a tough process and if you can do something to avoid that now, do it. It's a lot. It's it's when when you're young and healthy. It's it's an easy thing to do. It's a lot cheaper to do. Um, get it, get it done now as a way to have insurance in case you, you know to avoid that situation in the future. I looked for clinics that had great success rates with freezing embryos and found out that vitrification is the freezing technology that is most successful. I mean, you have a, a 95% plus, you know, or even higher successful thaw rate if you use vitrification to freeze um, those embryos and then to thaw it. So I went on my search and looked for clinics that had that technology and then I found out about um, natural and mini IVF. This is um, IVF where you don't have to go through that whole regimen of um, hormone shots, it's the ovarian stimulation shots. Traditional IVF that people hear about, you know, they hear about people taking all those, you know, big shots that somebody has to give them and going through those PMS symptoms and, you know, it, it's kind of, you know, a very draining, kind of arduous process and there are, you know, potential side effects um, that you can have from, you know, basically pumping your body full of that many hormones and, you know, your ovaries enlarging and trying to mass produce eggs. So um, avoiding that was, you know, our main goal. And um, finding out about natural and mini IVF was just the, the key. I mean, we were sold. Right? They were, we've got to do this. This is great. You can do it without the side effects. Um, so looking for that combination, vitrification freezing technology and natural or mini IVF, I mean, obviously, you're going to do a search on that. It's going to lead you to New Hope.